ago, a number of us were picketing right over there at the Ransack yeah. during the People's Summit, during the Tent City. And it was a tremendous joint effort by the moratorium now that is fighting to keep people in their homes and the auto workers caravan that's fighting to keep people in their jobs. And there is no way those two struggles can be separated. This demonstration was endorsed by the moratorium now coalition to stop foreclosures, evictions, and utility shutoffs. And Abayomi is going to speak to us for the moratorium now. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, I want to, uh, first of all, uh, thank all of the uh, union members who are out here today, both uh, active as well as the retirees. Uh, we've seen the devastation that the bosses have carried out against the workers over the last two and a half decades. Hundreds of thousands of automotive jobs have been lost, have been taken away from people here in this country. And of course, they talk about the raging profits right now that the uh, banks and automotive companies are gaining. Well, at whose expense have these profits been gained? They've been gained off the backs of working people. The fact that they've laid off tens of thousands of people just over the last couple of years and they've trimmed the wages in half for automotive workers is criminal. And we need to continue to raise these discussions in forums like this to welcome the auto show not from the perspective of the bosses and the bankers but from our perspective as workers and people who live in the community. Yeah. I also just wanted to mention that the new governor of the state of Michigan is now taking a cue from private industry, from the automotive bosses and from the bankers to go after the public sector unions. They're following the same playbook that they carried out in, in, in trimming the wages and downsizing in the automotive industry. And they're using the private sector as a model. So what we're saying is that we need to go and greet the new governor on January the 19th when he'll be giving the State of the State address to put forward this new program of austerity for public sector unions to cut back on their wages, to eliminate their benefits, to attack their pensions and seize their pension funds, and to eliminate their health care programs for themselves and for their families. And we need to stand shoulder to shoulder with our brothers and sisters in the public sector and also those people who are going to be affected because they want to balance the budget on the backs of working people and the poor. So I want, to, I want to invite people tomorrow, we're having a meeting, a planning meeting, to go up to Lansing. Tomorrow's January 10th, we're going to meet at 5920 2nd Avenue. It's the office of the Moratorium Now Coalition at 7 o'clock. We want to invite everybody to come out and help us plan to take uh, people up to Lansing the following week on January the 19th. We're going to be up there at 6 o'clock on the 19th to say no to these attacks on public sector workers to demand a moratorium on foreclosures, evictions and utility shutoffs, and to demand a real jobs program to create millions of jobs for people here in this country. We need public transportation. We need the revitalization of our cities. We can put millions of people to work just rebuilding the infrastructure of this country. Thank you so much. Solidarity forever.